let's take a look at the existing user roles on WordPress. First, the administrator role. Administrators have complete control over all aspects of your site. They can manage and update the WordPress core, manage users on the site, and edit all other users' posts. Administrators can also add and delete plugins and themes on the site. Overall, the administrator role has all the capabilities required for a WordPress site. Next is the editor role, which has editing rights to other users' posts. In addition to editing and deleting blog posts, they can also moderate comments on your site. Authors on your site can create and publish their own posts. However, they won't have access to other users' posts. And, they can view comments, but cannot moderate or delete them. A contributor can write and edit a post on your site, but won't be able to publish it. And, they won't be able to upload files into your site. So a contributor would need the help of an editor to publish an article on your site. Finally, the subscriber role. This one has read-only access on your site. In addition, they can edit their own user profiles. They can read a blog post on your site and leave a comment. Now. Let's see what changes when you install WooCommerce. First, the admin gets additional capabilities to manage all the settings within WooCommerce, create slash edit products, and access all WooCommerce reports. Additionally, two user roles will be created, which are customer and shop manager. The customer role will have similar permissions like a WordPress subscriber. That means it is a read-only access across the site. However, they can edit their own account information, and view past and present orders. The shop manager role is similar to the WordPress editor role. They also have additional capabilities to manage all the settings within WooCommerce, create slash edit products, and access all WooCommerce reports. These are the fundamental aspects of WooCommerce user roles. You can modify the capabilities of these roles, or use them to create layered pricing on your WooCommerce store. More about that in the next video.